the class of 2013 celebrates. KCSC candidates who engage in cheating will be barred from sitting any national examinations for a period of three years. Education Secretary Professor Jacob Kaimanyi said this when he released the KCSC results. Now, as Kitians written in a report, the Education Secretary is blaming mobile phones and the social media for the decline in the performance of the English language. The KCSC class of 2013 failed to outshine the class of 2012. And despite measures put in place to curb cheating, the Kenya National Examinations Council is yet to find the formula to curb the vice. Close to 3,400 candidates were involved in exam irregularities involving collusion with education officials and the use of unauthorized materials. It is very even disturbing to know that some of our teachers and education officials who actually at the forefront of doing this. Now the government is taking the war against cheating to another level. Candidates who engage in cheating will be barred from sitting any national examinations for a period of up to three years. The government is also moving to curb cases of candidates who register for exams with the sole purpose of securing a certificate. With effect from next year, candidates who only write their names and do not attempt any questions shall not be graded. With only 27% of the candidates having obtained the university entry pass mark of C plus and above, the Education Cabinet Secretary is urging those who will miss out on university admission to broaden their horizons. Can be absorbed in many middle level colleges. So there's light at the end of the tunnel. Kaimani also cautioned against what he termed as an increase in the number of underage children being enrolled in school against the government policy which sets standard one enrollment age at six years. And I had them to stop this malpractice in the interest of the welfare of our children. He also warned schools against forcing students to repeat classes, saying it impacts on school retention and completion rates. No child should be made to repeat a class irrespective of their performance. Of the 10 subjects that recorded a decline in performance, English topped the list, and Kaimeni knows the reason why. Mobile phones and computers which have done away with the need to know how to construct sentences. Have you seen some of the text messages we sent? Unbelievable. The Education Cabinet Secretary defended the vernacular language policy for the pre-primary level, saying use of vernacular ensures a smooth transition from home to school for the young learners. For the first time, schools were ranked according to non-academic performance, including accountability. The first one would return in girls high school. This is followed by Missian Ngao Secondary School. Alafu Moi Kabarak School. With the release of the results, candidates in the KCSE class of 2013 are now staring at the next phase of their education journey. A journey that may be cut short for thousands who will miss out on university admission as the country once again grapples with the challenge of transition to university. Rita Tinina, KTN.